bottle of water, so little Rue stood no chance when he was swooped on by two seagulls in his back garden. 14-year-old Jade Vincent witnessed the aftermath of the attack on the family's pet dog. I saw it and I just collapsed and I started screaming. And I was so down, like I didn't know what to think because he's just been with us for so long and it's made a massive impact on my family not having him here now. Emily Vincent was upstairs at the family's home in St. Columbine near Newquay when Rue was attacked. He'd just come out and he was on his way back in. What I can work out that there was blood dripping from just this area here um, into, and then he'd collapsed indoors. Emily said her three-year-old son Jace saw what happened. He was just screaming. I couldn't get any sense out of him until um, the whole we got back from the vets. Um, and all he was kept repeating was, um, Birdie got sharp teeth. It's believed the birds were protecting their nest when they swooped down to attack room. They have been there probably the last three months. And have you had any problems before then? Um, no, um, they, they've definitely come down and nicked. Um, the dogs will sometimes come out because they like to separate when they eat. And they, they have been a bit cheeky and come down, swooped in, got their food. Another pet dog was killed in the southwest just two months ago. Bella, a chihuahua, got out of the house and into the back garden. She was pecked by several seagulls and later died. In 2001, another Yorkshire Terrier, Poppy, died when she was pecked in the head in Torbay. Seagulls are a protected species, but Emily believes that homeowners should be allowed to take measures if they feel they're in danger. I definitely feel that if you're in, um, if they're becoming a nuisance or a danger, um, there should be a team or you should be allowed yourself to remove them. It was horrific as it was, but it could have quite easily been my children. The family still have their two other dogs, but they've made sure they won't forget room. They've made a grave in the garden as a memento. Steve Hardy, ITV News, Ninuki.